So what do we mean by 4K? Are, are you familiar with 4K? Yes. All right. I won't need to spend much time. You just know it's four times the resolution of HD. HD is about two megapixels. 4K is eight megapixels. So to take HD content and scale it up to 4K, we have to create three pixels for every one that exists. And the art form and intellectual property of the company is the algorithms we developed and validated through our virtualization technology to in fact provide the highest quality scaling from HD to 4K. So what's been going on in the 4K market? You, you're probably more aware of this or as I am, but LG has just recently released its 84 inch they call it UD TV, but it's 4K TV in the market in Korea, just starting this month. Another one is in April, you probably saw this, Intel came out with their architecture roadmap, driving to native 4K capability within the Intel architectures. It's not there today, but they showed a roadmap over time from now, I think through 2015, where the architectures of the chipsets will support higher and higher pixel processing resolution within the graphics engines of their chips to out to 4K in about the 2015 timeframe. And they are promoting this for phones, tablets, all-in-one PCs, uh, notebooks, every form of computing that Intel participates in to bring higher and higher pixel density. And I think this is, this is done in cooperation with their relationship with Apple. So why are they putting 4K into their products today? Very few 4K TVs, no, not very many ways to actually display 4K content. So why bother putting 4K capability into these products today? So for example, HD was first introduced into the market around 1998. It took years before it took off as content started to show up. But once it started, the ramp was very rapid on the what we call source devices, the Blu-ray players, set-top boxes, AVRs, adopted it very quickly to go from 480, 480p, 720 to 1080p upscaling capability to carry the content forward to the more current higher technology displays. So that's reflected here. This is US market data, but it, what it shows is that the DVD 1080p 60 frame per second feature in the source devices from 2006 to 2008 timeframe went from about 10% to 80%. Rapid transition of the market in adopting this technology within the set-top boxes, Blu-ray players, AVRs. The TVs, in fact, lagged quite a bit. By the time they were shipping 80% in the source devices, the TV sales for HD were only about 25% of the market. So the learning from this is that as 4K starts to emerge, and it's very early this year, very, very early stage for 4K, people are just starting to talk about it, starting to see content, starting to see TVs, but very early. But next year, as 4K starts to become more prevalent, more understood, we anticipate that the source devices will adopt it very quickly. It's very easy for them to adopt, not very expensive, and the price to buy a 4K ready source device is not that great. The, source, the cost to buy a 4K TV is going to be much more. So people will start to buy 4K ready devices in anticipation of purchasing a 4K TV display device. This is what we learned from 
HD. Similar was for 3D. So the history shows for 4K, we wanted to focus first on the 4K source devices with a very cost-effective, easy-to-use, easy-to-deploy solution to enable this ramp and capture the leading edge of the transition of the source devices to 4K. That's what we're focused on. Our objective is to provide much higher quality capability and actually enable the market and provide, allow our customers to provide products into the channels that people want to buy because they get excellent CNET reviews. So this is how our product drops into the system. This is the block diagram for a typical Blu-ray player. You just simply insert the Marseille product between the standard output, HDMI output from the SOC into our chip and we output high quality scaled up 4K capability. Now we scale up many different resolutions. So we scale, we can scale up 480 to 1080p or 760 to 1080p or 4K. So we have a range of scaling capability. But the, the message here, it's a extremely low cost, easy, simple solution to drop into a standard Blu-ray device and immediately have a very high quality 4K capable product to give us 3D content and we'll scale 3D content. You give us 2D content, we'll scale, it, scale that up. But no, we do not convert 2D content to 3D content. So the block diagram of the chip is simply HDMI input, Marseille's proprietary technology to HDMI output to the display device. Inside our proprietary content is what we call an image enhancement block where we do noise reduction, detail enhancement, edge enhancement. And we'll, this is what we'll demonstrate to you downstairs yeah. and you'll actually get to see the difference that Marseille makes and then scale it to high quality 4K output. So what we'll show you is HD content scaled and processed to full 4K. And the, the, the claim that we have is that we'll take that old content and make it look almost exactly 4K native quality. Won't be, can't be exactly the same, exactly 100%, but we are so close to native 4K, you can hardly tell the difference. An expert can hardly tell the difference. We've demonstrated this technology to, on this trip, we've been in Asia for two weeks now going around demonstrating the technology to a, a, a large number of customers. This tends to be a qualitative type of analysis. It's, it's hard to be quantitative. But what they depend on is their experts come in and look at the quality of the video and the quality of the images we produce. Every one of them has said our quality of our scaling and processing is well above anything else they've seen to fit into these markets. So we truly believe we have a world setting, world class setting capability to bring 4K and, uh, and 1080p, 720p content up into the 4K world with excellent quality. And, and that's what we'll show you in the demo. In, in the video process, though. Uh, in uh, among the three elements, which one is the most important uh, uh, thing? Uh, it, it, it depends. It depends. Yeah. It depends on the content coming in and where you are. And, and part of the art form here is the way we analyze the information to determine which is most important and put the right emphasis in the right area of processing based on the scene content. And that is part of our very unique proprietary algorithmic capability. This is, this is all math. This is advanced math that the company developed for over the last, what, two years, Remy? Three years. And we've now embodied it in silicon for this market. So the summary benefits are we have an excellent, very high quality 2D and 3D video processor for scaling content, 
with these types of capabilities, we have the highest quality 4K scaler for video and still images and graphics as represented to us by experts in the industry. This is not just Marseille's opinion. This is the opinion of the, the experts in the companies that we've presented to and shown the demonstration to. Extremely cost effective, very small footprint, very low bill of materials. Again, we targeted the algorithms had this much capability and we scaled it back to a lesser capability to meet the quality requirements and the cost requirements of things like Blu-ray players and set-top boxes, which are more cost sensitive. So we've scaled the technology, we think, to an optimal point in terms of bill of materials and ease of integration to make it extremely easy for someone to take an existing design and convert it to full 4K capability. So, Marseille, driving HD content to near native 4K quality visual content. That's what we're all about, okay? So what we'd like to do is, if you have any questions, I'd like to address them and then go down and show you a demonstration of the Marseille quality doing exactly this.